I'm Mike St. Pierre, the CEO yes. of Hyperlight Mountain Gear, and I'd like to uh, show you around a few products that are perfect for hiking the Appalachian Trail. Awesome. Nice to meet you, Mike. So maybe we can start over here uh, with some of the packs you have back here. So you want uh, anything in particular that you want to show us, uh, yeah. especially things I know that my subscribers are looking for. Are uh, a lot of them are hiking the Appalachian Trail. My channel is specific to the Appalachian Trail, and uh, and anything that's like kind of up and coming, new, fresh off the off the books or off, off the uh, uh, racks, and uh, or anything that you also have that might be upcoming, uh, maybe a peek under the tent. Yep. No pun intended. Okay. So cool. Let's start with the packs. Great. So we basically offer two packs that are perfect for the Appalachian Trail or any trail. Um, this the twenty four hundred Wind Rider. Um, this or the 3400 Wind Rider. Um, only difference is volume of the bag. We're talking 40 liter versus 55 liter. Uh, I'd say 40 liter is ideal for the AT if um, you're pretty dialed in. You've got all kind of ultralight systems, sleeping bags, pads, tent, everything. Um, I find that the 40 liter is actually a little big for me um, on the AT. Um, but if you're not 100% dialed in or, or some of your gear is a little bulkier, I would recommend the 3400 or the 55 liter. Uh, there's a little more space, uh, you can add a little more food if you need to. Um, and it still rolls down all the way, it's because it's a roll top, basically like a dry bag style. It still rolls all the way down, the same size as the 2400. And you're only talking a couple ounces difference in weight. So not that much of a weight penalty. Perfect. What is the max load capacity that you can put in each of those models? So I kind of say, uh, I mean, weight is kind of individual to each person what they feel comfortable carrying. The packs can handle the weight, anything you want to put in it. I mean, okay. I've done big trips carrying north of 50 pounds, uh, especially in the deserts, Grand Canyon, these places where you're carrying, uh, you know, maybe, you know, five, six, eight liters of water. Uh, or have seven days of food or, or both. Um, so the bags can carry the weight, uh, but you shouldn't need any of that weight if you're hiking the AT. I mean, a, a base weight's around 10, 12, even 13, 14 pounds is where you really want to be um, before food and water, Perfect. before all your consumables. Do they need to have a pack liner in there or is it waterproof? Uh, nope. So or is I, we recommend using our stuff sacks. Um, they're the lightest, basically the lightest stuff sacks out there. Um, and the fabrics are truly waterproof. So uh, between the pack, which is highly, highly water resistant. I mean, the materials are waterproof, but we don't call the pack waterproof because we sew through it. There's needle holes. We do seam seal everywhere we can. Um, but to me, if I call something waterproof, you better be able to submerge it underwater and, and yeah. things stay dry. Uh, but for all intents and purposes, when you're in the rain, um, your, your gear is going to be totally fine. Perfect. Uh, the only other pack I can show you is the Southwest. Uh, the only difference between the Southwest and the Wind Rider is the outer mesh pocket or the outer pockets. Okay. One is all fabric, and the Wind Rider is a mesh pocket. And they all look like the same price between the, yep. the 2400 exactly. Wind Rider and Southwest. Exact same price. Cool. I prefer for the AT, I prefer the mesh pockets. Uh, AT can be wet in springtime. Uh, it's nice to put things out there, they can dry. Uh, you know, I like to see my snacks. I load all my food for the day into the side pockets, and then I can just rifle through as my, you know, as I want throughout the day. And you know, I don't, oh, that doesn't look appetizing right now. I want this instead. You know, but I can yeah. see it through the pockets. So how, how durable is this mesh? It's extremely durable. You know, oh yeah, rip, this this is it's, it's this really, is tough stuff. It's tough stuff. And and if it does rip, you know, I consider it field repairable. You know, a little a little dental floss at nighttime sitting in the shelter, and you can easily patch up the mesh. So cool. Um, so other than that, uh, shelters? Yeah. So this is our Echo 2 shelter. Um, this is kind of designed for the AT. Uh, it's highly versatile. So there's three pieces. There's the tarp that you see. There's the insert on the inside, which is the bug netting and the bathtub floor. And then there's this whole piece of right here, which is the vestibule, which can come off. Oh, nice. So Neat. I, you know, when I'm when I'm out with the shelter, the vestibule I maybe use ten percent of the time I'm out there. This is lives in the bottom of my bag. You know, people ask about oh, what about rain and stuff getting into the ends. Well, on the AT, you're tucked into the woods, you know, pretty well. Um, I try to find natural protection anywhere you can, rocks, trees, anything. Uh, just to help out, um, but you know, 
I've never been wet in that shelter in any situation I've ever been. What does this one go for? Uh, this one is the price on it. Yeah, right. Price, price on it. I, I have to look at my cheat sheet. So okay, hold no on problem. One second here. Um, normally it's about six hundred bucks. Okay. So and it weighs uh, just just under two pounds, one point eight pounds. One point eight pounds. Yep. That's my next question. Yeah. So moving on from that, which is basically a tarp, we kind of get into a little different version of a tarp. This is a pyramid shelter. Um, the fly itself weighs one pound. Uh, it's a two-person shelter. You can actually fit three. And this one comes with the uh, optional uh, floor and bug netting solution as well, which is another you know pound and a half roughly. So about two and a half pounds, you've got a pretty massive shelter. Yeah. Got some headspace in here. And they're great in bad weather. So you can pitch these things above tree line. You know, these have been on the glaciers in Alaska. They've been on big mountains all over the world. Um, they shed wind really well because of that pyramid shape. So is this, uh, could you take this out uh, for a season? Oh, yeah. I consider it a four season tent. Four season tent. So uh, in the wintertime, the floorless shelters are great because you can dig out underneath it. You can make, you know, benches inside. You, um, so it's a, by digging out in deep snow, uh, it gives you a lot more room inside the mid. You know, usually those situations in wintertime, I might pitch it with a ski. So a ski is your center pole. Uh -huh. um, but yeah, you have lots of options. That's the beauty of a pyramid shelter. You have lots of options year round. Great. Very versatile shelter. And what's uh, the weight and the price? The weight on? of the fly is one pound. Okay. And then the insert itself is uh, a little over a pound, pound and a, pound and a half, somewhere in that ballpark. So about two and a half altogether. Yep. Yep. And uh, what's the price of this? If they're just uh, so this one, you're talking uh, in the 700 range, 650, 700 for the two person, you know, a little more into the 800 for the four person. So here's okay. the four person version. Uh, a little big. I mean, you would need to do the application. Trail. Yeah, unless you're having like a huge party. But, yeah, exactly. <laughs> but yeah, for those people, like, you know, they hike the Appalachian Trail and then you get out and you want to start doing, you know, other, other, you know, backcountry trips. These are the shelters you want. And what was the name of these? I apologize. This is the uh, Ultimate. The Ultimate. Great. So another interesting product you can see in, that's in there is uh, our yes. ground cloth. So the beautiful thing about Cuban fiber is that um, it is 100% waterproof. So you know, a really dewy grass or a little low-lying puddle or something, and that's kind of all you have, especially up on a ridge, like in the Weiss or in Maine, you know, you're tucked up there. Um, you put one of these things down, and your stuff's not going to get wet. Water's not going to perme permeate through. Great. So, um, here's the two, again, the two-person version. Um, there's a bug netting solution inside. This has no floor. So I, you know, me personally, I prefer the no floor bug netting solution and then a ground cloth. Cool. As you can see, you could be pitched with a stick or trekking poles, anything you like. Great. But I, I like the versatility. I like to know I can set my shelter up different ways depending on where I'm at. Um, so other than that, uh, if you want to go very minimalist, this is a, just a flat tarp. Uh, it's a square tarp, so ours is eight and a half feet by eight and a half feet. Um, flat tarps, uh, especially square flat tarps, uh, are more versatile than a rectangle. You can pitch in more configurations. Um, so this is in a modified pyramid setup. This is kind of the way I like to personally uh, pitch this regularly. So you can fit two people, three people. Yep, and kind of tuck, in there. tuck back in the back, and yeah. you know, the rain, even the rain's driving in, it usually doesn't make it all the way back to the back of the shelter. So what would uh, what's the weight total weight on this? Half a pound. Half a pound. And, and the uh, ground cloth is what again from uh, the a weight standpoint? Ground cloth is uh, like a couple ounces. I mean, couple like ounces. three ounces. Yeah. Okay. There's, I have so many products I forget all the weight. <laughs> yeah. So excuse me. I know but, you're. I, but they're I know all online <laughs> and yeah, they're they are really light. Cool. Uh, as you see, there's a picture here. Uh, you know, that's the same same uh, flat tarp just set up in an A frame in configuration. Perfect. So, Great. Oh, I can kind of. There's Zoom on this and the weights. Yeah. Yes. Perfect. Great. Uh, so moving on to some of the accessories that go well with all these products, especially, especially for the AT. So we offer a variety of stuff stacks. Um, CF8 and CF11. The only difference is the ones, the, the gray are a little thicker. It's the same material we use on our floors. 
Um, so as we build the floors of our shelters, we have a lot of excess material left over. So we, we turn them into stuff sacks because um, we don't want to be wasting any of these you know, expensive materials. But either or, the gray or the white work totally fine. Um, you know, the gray would be the CF11 might be good for a food bag, something that's going to carry more weight, especially for hanging a tree, uh, regularly pitching, you know, a, a bear bag setup. Um, another cool product, our pillow. So this is we offer it in two sizes. This is a, the, the small and the large. Uh, so it's basically a, a stuff sack. And at nighttime, you turn it inside out. And it's fleece lined. Uh, I leave my puffy jacket in this all the time. Um, all the time. So that way I always know where it is. I could be wearing my puffy jacket around camp. You know, then I crawl into my sleeping bag. My puffy jacket goes right into my pillow. Makes a really, really awesome pillow. When I threw hike last year, uh, I used something very similar to that, and absolutely loved it. So, yeah, uh, you know, very comfortable pillow for no extra weights, stuff that you're carrying anyway. So. Yeah, it's important to get a good night's sleep. Get Multifunctionality. Yep. Get a good night's sleep. Get rested. You know, and you're gonna have a great, but much better day the next day. Absolutely. So another interesting product that uh, we've been working on are pods. So this is a large pod. We make a smaller one that's only about that wide as well. But these are the same shape as the inside of our backpacks. Okay. So you can just stack them up. Um, I designed this for a trip that I was doing. Uh, I've been through hiking in the Grand Canyon. There's no trails. It's about 700 miles. And we're carrying seven to 10 days of food. And so I would use one of these for breakfasts, lunch, dinners, and snacks. And you could just stack them up like building blocks inside your pack. Um, but you can use it for your sleeping bag, your clothes bag, food bags. Uh, it just utilizes all the space inside the bag. You know, uh, when you're trying to pack stuff sacks or, or roll top stuff sacks, uh, when you pack those full and you put them into a pack, there's a lot of, there's a lot of dead space between the stuff sacks. So um, by an idea like this, you're maximizing all the space in your bag. You can usually get away with a smaller bag. Um, or carry more food, or you know, maybe a little wine on the trail too. Right? <laughs> yeah, we do that sometimes. Absolutely. Great. So, uh, other, yeah. So that's kind of like uh, stuff sacks, uh, some accessories, the pillows, the shelters, packs. You know, perfect. Uh, all so, designed for through hiking. Perfect. So where can we go to check everything out? So hyperlightmountaingear.com, a uh, great place, a lot of resources. Uh, there's also our blog, which is a lot of tips and tricks and. Um, you know, ways to learn about these products and, and just how to succeed on the, on the trails. Perfect. Last question. If uh, folks that are sporting this or have the aspirations of, of picking up your gear and they have any issues with it, what is, uh, how is your service, especially with them out on the trail in the middle of a through hike? Yep. All you have to do is just reach out to us any way imaginable. Social media, Facebook, Instagram, you know, uh, uh, info at hyperlightmountaingear.com. We've got avenues on the website. You just can, you can go and fill out a request, and, and we will get back to you immediately. Uh, if anything ever goes wrong with a product, uh, which we don't see very often, uh, you know, we'll happily send you a loaner pack or you know get your pack back somehow. We'll work with you to figure out the best solution for you. For you. Perfect. Well, thank you so much, Mike. Appreciate it's it. It's a real pleasure. Thank you very much. Happy trails.